Hi, my name is Dr Claire Turner and even though I'm a doctor of engineering rather than medicine, I'm going to walk you through a few health and safety tips for doing electricity experiments. Here are some of the experiments that I'll be doing. During these experiments, I'll be using DC current and low voltages. Believe it or not, this is my lab, and this is pretty much all the equipment that I'm going to be using during these experiments. Mostly, I'm going to be using these 1.5 volt batteries. You've probably got these lying around your home. Sometimes, I'll be using these. 9 volt batteries. Now if I touch the terminals I don't feel anything at all. That's because I've got dry hands. However since water is quite a good conductor of electricity if I did it with wet hands I'd feel a little bit of a zing. In fact if you put your tongue to it mm, that wasn't very pleasant. Now that wasn't going to do any damage to me but if you do that with any high voltages, then that is what has been described as torture. Interestingly, it's not just the voltage that makes a difference. Using alternating current is more dangerous than using DC current. If I would put a 9 volt alternating current to my tongue, that would be excruciating. Now, as you can see, I don't even have any equipment that could generate an alternating current, so I'm quite safe. Even though I'm not going to be using alternating currents or high voltages, there is a very small danger using these 9 volt batteries. That's because the terminals are very close together. Why is this a problem, you might ask? It's because it's a bit too easy to short the battery. That's when you end up putting a wire between the two terminals without there being any resistance in between. Because that would generate a very high current and the internal resistance of the battery would end up causing this huge amount of heat to be generated, which could make the battery actually explode. If a battery is damaged, then some rather nasty gases can escape. A good way to avoid shorting the battery is to use one of these. They just clip on the top like that and as long as you don't end up connecting these together then you shouldn't end up shorting a battery. If you are concerned that you have shorted a battery the best thing to do is to put it outside in a dry place and let the gases escape safely. Another thing to watch out for when you're doing experiments with resistors is to remember that high current plus resistor equals hot. Even though I've not managed to scar myself or anything, it has caught me out a few times. So just be careful about that. In summary, avoid alternating current, avoid voltages over 12 volts, work with dry hands, don't short circuit batteries, watch out for hot resistors, and finally use a bit of common sense. It is actually a lot of fun playing around with electricity kits. Although, don't think that just because you've done a few experiments, then you can start rewiring your house. Only a qualified electrician should be touching your mains. If you are curious what happens when you play with alternating currents or high voltages, then check this guy out. Happy experimenting!